what's up welcome to another plan with me my name is stephanie and today i'm going to be decorating my classic happy planner that i use as a journal for the week of december 19th through the 25th and i'm going to use this adorable sticker book that i can't stay away from <laughs> live love posh holly jolly and i might use the happy planner winter book for quotes um but i also have stickers that I made um, where I have quotes. So I might use some of those, like maybe that one. So let's get started. I want to use these, I think. I really like blue. I pulled a bunch of sheets out of this book. So it's kind of annoying to flip through. These are so pretty too. I don't think I'm going to get to them this year though. I'm going to have so much more to do next year out of this book. It's really been a good one. I'll keep this out because I might have to pull some more stickers out of here. All right. These stickers are just so pretty. Um, of course, not all of these go. The dark blue does. I don't know about the light blue. Hmm. And then we don't have any other options in here, I don't think, except for reds. I mean, we don't even have green in these stickers. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Because I do have this kind of teal color on my planner page. I also don't have long boxes. Maybe I'll put black. It's always the easiest. All right, let's put this right down here in this corner. I always end up with trees in corners <laughs> because, isn't this cute? I just finished this. Um, the trees are tall, so they get relegated to the corner a lot. All right, and I think maybe this one would have been really good for the corner. Oof. All right. I think maybe I'll put this on the other side of the page over here. I was thinking about putting these bells up here. They're very pretty. I always end up covering that little circle there. <laughs> okay, I could put this Merry Christmas quote I have. This would go with the spread. I'm gonna use Merry Christmas for sure. What else do I have? I do have some lighter blue boxes that maybe would work better. Maybe. Let's just pull out all the ones with quotes. That one's red. I also have snowflakes. Okay, let's for sure put this Merry Christmas on Christmas. This I made on Cricut Design Space. I believe this was a um, 
you know, one of their membership. Um, you know, Cricut membership stickers that they had. I'm just gonna cut off these twinkles over here because they're gonna overlap this other sticker. a small one but survive Christmas one step at a time that one's cute too I found so many snarky Christmas sayings love it I already have Merry Christmas there now so I don't feel like I should use it why did I do that? Let's put survive Christmas one sip at a time. I do have family coming to visit. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Maybe I'll use some snowflakes. We'll see. So I could have used this tree over here and then this over here. But I was not thinking about that. I do think I want to use it though? Does it have to be all the way at the bottom? Let's do it here. We'll have to cut out the holes. So I don't think it looks weird. Right, and then use these trees down here. It's a good enough spot, I guess. Silver. Silver would look good here. Let's see if I have silver boxes in the old colorful boxes book. This one, these. It's not cut perfectly. And it's a little long. So I think what I'll do is put it under these stickers because I don't want to lose these stickers. So maybe I'll shove it all the way up here under this one. the corner of this quote which really I could move over I think I will end up moving this it's sized to fit in a classic box oops cute. Save this over here because I know I'll end up using it some more. And let's use some of Jessica's boxes. I don't know. I don't 
know what these are supposed to be for. Okay, let's put this present in here. Let's cut the bottom of it off. Let's get this big box. Let's put it here, I guess. These don't fit perfectly. All right, and then I need to get another one of those. Put it over here. I lost my page. <laughs> the other side of my spread disappeared underneath all my stickers. There we go. Okay, so let's put some silver stickers with these. Silver and blue looks good. Could have brought in some browns too. Let's put something else here. I really want to use these candles, but they're not going to fit there. I mean, they do, and then they kind of hang off. Or I could put it here. Let's trim off the bottom a little bit. And then thinking about this bow, so it's really pretty over here. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's put this here. Could put something else on that. done some consolidating. I think it's time to do some more consolidating. Just put this right next to the silver box. Because then maybe I'll put something there. I have this big stack of presents. Maybe either it could have gone there, but probably won't. 
go here. Or I could go here. I think I'll put it on the bottom, even though there are already presents down there. Still thinking though. Because it would work pretty nicely there. All right, let's do that. And then I might put some gifts at the bottom maybe. This little ornament's cut out for the sides, so let's put him up here. top but it's gonna cover up no matter how much I turn off it's gonna cover up some stuff so maybe there or it really could hang somewhere else I think it'll look good almost anywhere I put it you know The joy of these stickers. And this is getting stickery. All right, now I'm trying to decide what to put down here. I can't put the sled because I already have it. I can't put the snowman because I already have it. And I can't put the gingerbread house. I haven't used this girl at the Christmas tree, but I don't really. Maybe there's room there for her. And maybe she'll just be a giant over here next to this gingerbread house. Could put her in a box. <laughs> I think I like her best over here. This side of the page is probably pretty much done. thinking about putting like a tumble of presents down here. That's what I'm calling it a tumble. things to scale in this spread. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. 
I do think I need a box maybe, maybe here to get rid of some of the crap on my scissors. Maybe one of these smaller ones. I do still feel like I need a box up here too. But I don't know if that's really that necessary. I have this present too. Oh, and that present. some good detail scissors. I put planner stuff on my list of wants that I made for my husband and like the two biggest things I even said out loud that I wanted were like I had planner stickers on there and um Planner stickers that I haven't bought yet, which there's some coming out today. I need to take a peek at that. And plants. So I had a big collection of plants before we moved from Colorado and I had to give up most of them. Give a lot of them away. I have this little strip that might look nice. Maybe going across here. Connecting the two pages. I think I'll lift up. Here, let's cut this part first so it's easier to work with. I think this is gonna be a challenge. I think maybe I overlapped my pages a little more than I wanted to. don't want this sticking out so let's cut that off and then let's just cut some of the sticker out so there's not any of that white overlap just using my Cricut craft knife here Maybe I'm done. Ish. I have one more present I wish I could stick somewhere. Maybe here. Pages are getting thick. Very stickery, these last couple of spreads. I 
I am thinking about adding snowflakes to the top though. I do have her snowflake, which is nice, but let's put this here to kind of hide this uh, dark line from those two stickers overlapping. Maybe one that takes up a lot of real estate. Jessica, your overprint, your offset's a little excessive. Just a little bit. The stickers are very nice, though. No, oh, that's still taking up a lot of space there. Maybe I'll put it here. Okay, then I think I'm going to use my snowflake stickers at the top. snowflakes okay. got a lot of sticker surgery scraps going on here I want to get rid of those because when I cut this off I'm gonna want to use it I cut my page a little bit Scrap can go up here. Do I need this at kind of a weird angle? This one I'm probably not gonna be able to use anywhere. So it has just white on it. And do I have any more snowflakes or is this it? See if I have any other snowflake stickers. I do I have a big one? Yes, I have one there. I might want to add some more quotes. Let's look at that. Okay, I just have this one more. Snowflake. Uh, the stickers that I made. put something maybe a little snarky like Santa define good here 
was thinking that space needed something, so not a lot of room to write. <laughs> okay, let's put fa la 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 la. Let's put family on here because family is coming to visit. My mom. It's really stuck to my finger. I'm afraid it's going to rip. I think that's it. I was thinking about adding another quote. So I have one I could put there, which might break this up a little bit. I'm a joy to the world. Fits in there nicely. Okay, the other thing I need to do is punch out where the stickers are going over my discs, disc holes. This is a crocodile. We are memory keepers. Punch, disc punch, and it is really excellent to have for just cutting. It's a lot easier to line it up and cut out these disc holes than with a happy planner punch, which punches all of them at once. I always end up messing it up. I use that. So this is a lot easier. You just line up the hole next to it and punch. Um, it will punch a little bit deeper if you don't line up the hole and look at how even it looks, if that makes sense. But this is my preferred punch for like really thick stuff because a happy planner punch won't punch it. Okay, if you like this spread, please don't forget to let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I'd really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.